You guys are such a bad influence. After my recent Primark video where I went and looked at their Disney selection and then my Primark Disney haul, I was inundated with messages, inundated I tell you, saying, Re, you should have gone back for this. I can't believe you managed to leave that in store. You absolutely need to go back and buy this. And you know what? I went back and bought lots more stuff. This is full. And it's all your fault! Hi, I'm Re, and welcome back to Mummy of Four Does Disney, the place for Disney hauls, Disney holiday planning, and Disney vlogs. Before we get into showing you what I've bought in this massive Primark Disney haul, I just want to say if you are new, I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe and join my Disney family and turn on bell notifications whenever I upload new videos. We are going on the Disney Magic at Sea UK staycation this summer, so I'm doing a lot of Disney shopping to prepare for that. There'll be lots of Disney planning and packing and organising. I love a bit of organising, you'll know that if you follow me over on my main channel, Mummy of Four. But there will be all of that lovely content for you, plus vlogs when we actually go on the trip and then we are hoping to book for Florida 2022 as well. So if you're into all that, all things Disney, hit that subscribe button. Go on. Have you done it? Have you done it? Okay, good. We can start the haul. Where shall we start? There is literally so much that I don't know where to begin. Okay, let's start with these. These are my newest mini ears from Primark. I have not had Primark ears before and I'm really pleased with these. These were three pounds, super cute with the little Mickey ears kind of joined up with the gold, really sparkly. These are much more plump than ears I've had from elsewhere. They're kind of glittery, but with big specks of glitter as well. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera. There's glitter dots as well as a little glitter. So quite enjoying those. They are quite snug ears, I would say. So if you've got a little bit of a big head like me, then you may end up feeling they're pinching a little bit, but quite frankly, they're only three pounds and they're so pretty. I think I'm gonna persevere. My next set of ears were also three pounds. These are sequined all over with a lovely bow and the red. How gorgeous are they? One of the top items that you guys were adamant I should have gone back for and I was absolutely regretting not picking up if I'm honest was the Minnie Mouse pink and grey blanket you guys know I love pink and grey I mean my whole house looks like this it's all pink and grey and look how beautiful this is it's so nice now I wanted these not just for the house because they match beautifully but for taking on the cruise I figured we have got a veranda room partly because there weren't any inside state rooms available but you know it will be a nice experience so I thought we'd take blankets so if we were sitting outside Side. you know we're not gonna be far from the UK so I'm not imagining the weather's going to be quite tropical it will be a nice way to snuggle up so shall we open one up and take a look at these I do like the way that they bundle these up they make quite a nice kind of gift this was just six pounds oh this is gorgeous Oh, I'm so pleased. Honestly, this was one of my biggest regrets. This was one of my personal, I should have bought this. I adore that. What do we think, guys? Are you pleased I went back for it? I know lots of you were saying, right, I'm heading in to buy one of these for myself. Pink and grey and white a mini and just stunning. So I actually got one for each of my girls and one for me. They are pretty huge, but really quite lightweight. So I thought I could bundle these up and just maybe pop them in a squishy bag or something so that we can take them onto the ship. My children also absolutely love blankets for just playing in, making tents and dens and all sorts. So they will play and play with these. Then my two boys really love Lilo and Stitch. So I got these with Stitch and Pinky Purple girly stitch I'm assuming because she has eyelashes I don't know who that is let me know in the comments who's the pinky purple one <sighs> I'm gonna confess something that was not gonna go down well I haven't actually seen Lulu and Stitch it's been on don't get me wrong it's been on in the house but I've not sat and absorbed the story so I'm not even sure what goes on in it should I bother sitting down and watching that is that a must film am I missing out being in my late 30s and never having seen that film oh that is beautiful stitch and whoever the purple one is that's really lovely really beautiful tropical leaves love that and I've got these which are the marvel blankets so my husband who said he didn't want a blanket but you know why i've got him a blanket he'll say he didn't want a blanket and then we'll be there cold and i'll be under my blanket all warm and he'll be like can i share your blanket and i'll be saying i told you you needed a blanket so this one is for daddy of four one of my sons absolutely wants the stitch one and the other one couldn't decide between marvel and stitch so i've asked them to make a choice and i will return 
one of them. All of these blankets are six pounds. I actually think they make a really nice gift because they're all bundled up like that. And let's face it, who doesn't like a snuggly blanket? Another item I absolutely adored when you saw that shop with me is this. It's so cute. So I'm gonna use this to pack away toiletries for our trip. It's so, so beautiful. It's got the little sparkle on the heart. Mickey and Minnie kissing couple goals and the beautiful Mickey and Minnie kind of outline silhouettes in pink which is my favorite color. And this was just four pounds, guys, four pounds. Then we've got a t-shirt for Will. Some of the little boys' t-shirts that I saw in that initial shop with me only went up to kind of the younger boys' age. So it was up to seven and he's nine. Now this is actually a nine to 10, it's five pounds 50. And I thought that with just a nice little pair of shorts will be lovely for one of the days on the cruise. So the things I'm packing for myself and the girls are more Disney bound and kind of in the style of characters for each day. Whereas for the boys, they're just having Disney type t-shirts and shorts keeping it kind of simple. Then I got some Disney nightwear for the girls. I didn't find any Disney nightwear for the boys, so I need to keep an eye out when I'm shopping next for some of that for the boys, but I managed to find these for the girls. These are nighties. They say dream all day. We've got Belle, Rapunzel and Cinderella. They're kind of sparkly. I worry sometimes this stuff might be itchy, but I f did look on the inside and this liner material does seem really, really soft because my children are really fussy about having itchy things next to their skin, as I'm sure lots of children are. So these 90s, I've got four to five for Zara, then that's eight pounds, also eight pounds. It's the seven to eight for Bella. She is only six, but she's really tall. Then we've also got, also eight pounds, these Little Mermaid pajamas. I'm gonna open these up. I like these because the bottoms looked like a fish tail. Look, how cool is that? They're kind of scaly, but with a little bit of sparkle on them too. They're really cute. And then the top is pink, short sleeved with Ariel and Flounder and Sebastian the Crab, and it just says The Little Mermaid on it. Then we've got some more socks for me. I love these little shoe liners because they've got the actual bow, which kind of sticks up. And then we've got these with the Mickey and Minnie hands or gloves, I guess. And then this pair of gray ones with Mickey's face. These were £2.50. And then more of a black and pink set with Minnie. And then pink with Minnie and a bit of glitz and a bow. And then some black with Minnie and spots. Also £2.50 for those shoe liners. And then back to another Disney bound item. I really fancied the lovely lilac stuff they had for when I can Disney bound as Rapunzel or perhaps Meg from Hercules, who's also lilac-y. If you're not familiar with Disney bounding, basically it is dressing in the colours of Disney characters without wearing an actual costume. So if you saw some of my recent Amazon hauls where I bought some Disney bound items, they're not exactly Disney merch, but when put together, bits from your own wardrobe, then they can represent Disney characters. And I just loved this little bag. This was eight pounds. Just, to, I mean, it's too tiny really for anything I ever use. I could perhaps just fit my camera in there and not much else. I guess that's all I really need to carry around with me on the cruise anyway. I'm also gonna be putting together a lot of Disney bound reels and flat lays over on my Mummy of Four Disney Instagram. So if you're interested in just a little bit of Disney bounding, Disney happiness, Disney joy, please do follow me over there on Instagram. I would love to have you as part of my Disney family over there too. Oh, and this bag also has the kind of crossbody strap inside. Then I got these little shoes for the girls. I did really fancy these in that first shop with me and I'm so glad I went back for them. I've actually got a pair for Bella as well, but she seems to have wandered off with them. So I'm just gonna show you these. They've got Elsa inside and they're just glittery all over. Now these aren't the kind of shoes because they slip on shoes. I'm gonna encourage them to wear all the time because obviously they are little, they kind of normally wear shoes that are kind of stuck on their feet, Velcroed on, tied on, whatever. But just for the evenings, I thought perhaps if we're going to like a princess tea party or to see a show or something, rather than walking around all day, they can wear these. And they're always also kind of fun dressing up shoes. Onto this bag, which is just so gorgeous. It's also full of stuff because, you know, what better bag to carry things home in that you've bought than a bag that you've just bought. So this is the bag that I fancied for that first night. So the day before we sail on the cruise, we're actually going to stay near the port the night before. So the idea is I will pack this 
bag with everything we need to put on that morning when we get on the ship. And then everything that is dirty that we wore that first day when we drove up there can go back in this bag and we can leave it in the car to save disrupting the cases that I will have very neatly packed and organised and also to avoid having to take dirty clothes and things that we're not actually going to need onto the ship. So this has got two front pouches with little cutesy Mickey zips got a little Mickey tag on here. It's got a huge amount of space inside as well as the stuff I have bought to show you and also a cross body strap that I can attach if I want to. And this lovely bag was £18. Next I've got some notebooks. So we've got three little notebooks. So we'll open them up to show you. So we've got this little pink with Mickey head on it notebook. This little dotty one with one big Mickey head. And then we've got some Minnie Mouse heads all over this lovely white one. And these were £2 for the three. Those of you that commented will be delighted to know that I went back for these lovely Minnie Mouse trainers. I just adore these. I know they're white, so they're not super practical, but if you use a magic eraser on white trainers like this, all around these bumpery bits, then they will get brought back to that lovely white finish. So I thought these would be really cute with jeans and little Disney t-shirts, or even perhaps shorts and, you know, shoe liners. Definitely helpful if we're walking a long way. I guess there will be quite a lot of walking on the ship, but definitely when we head into the parks, you really kind of need comfortable walking shoes. So these were 12 pounds. I bought them in a size six, um, which I am a size six, and they are quite comfortable. They've got Minnie Mouse, the words embroidered on the side and on the back, and then they've got her face and sparkly bow on the side. And then we've got some lovely t-shirts. So I actually bought these in an extra small, which is a six to eight, even though I would normally buy a size 10. I tend to like my t-shirts fitted and my jumper's baggy. So this jumper I actually bought in that first Primark Disney haul that I did a few weeks ago and this is a medium but this t-shirt I held up against me and it seemed to be the right size for the kind of fit I wanted. It's got Mickey like body parts that sounds really morbid doesn't it? It's got Mickey's shorts and his hand and foot all within a Mickey. So this is a medium in the jumper. Let me just show you the t-shirt try it on and just show you the fit so you can kind of get an idea. So as you can see this is an extra small. I'm a pretty standard UK 10 and that fits me fine with plenty of room in it. So if you are picking things up in store then that should give you some idea of sizing because obviously fitting rooms aren't necessarily open at the moment depending when you watch this video. Hopefully you're watching it a little bit in the future and the world is a little bit more normal but the point of filming the fitting rooms were not open and this t-shirt was five pounds. I need my ears back on. Better. Then we've got a lovely soft pink Minnie Mouse t-shirt also in an extra small. She's smiling, waving and generally being happy. Got Minnie Mouse lettering and Minnie on the front. Also five pounds for this one. And then the Winnie the Pooh sweatshirt. The beautiful Winnie the Pooh sweatshirt that they only had in a 2XS and they still only had absolutely tiny sizes when I went back. And quite frankly, I might be able to squeeze into an extra small t-shirt, but a 2XS sweatshirt, just not gonna happen. I need a medium in a sweatshirt to fit me properly. So I did get the t-shirt. It says, oh bother on it. So it's still gorgeous, although I did adore that sweatshirt. I was very sad they didn't have it in my size. And then I also really loved the yellow Winnie the Pooh sweatshirt. They didn't have any of those, at least I didn't see them when I went back. So those are my two kind of Winnie the Pooh, maybe I'll look out for them in the future. I mean, I should not be allowed back in Primark. Stop being a bad influence and stop encouraging me. This Winnie the Pooh t-shirt I also got on an extra small and it was five pounds. And then everybody's favorite fairy. Yes, you guessed it. Tink. Gotta love Tink. She is, well she's a bit of a Tink isn't she? She is cheeky, like my youngest daughter. So this is lovely white t-shirt with kind of the sketch Tinkerbell, says Tinkerbell in lettering here, and this was also five pounds. So let me know in the comments which shops would you like me to go and do a Disney shop with me in next, and which other Disney content would you like to see from me? We've got lots of the holiday planning coming up. I've been thinking about doing a Disney Plus must watch video, so let me know if you're interested in that. I've also been thinking about doing like a bit of a Q&A, so let me know if that is something that you fancy seeing on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified whenever I post new videos. More videos for you to watch are all around me. Bye bye my Disney family. See you all soon. Bye.